gonna show you one of the easiest, best tasting things you can possibly do with a deer shoulder. It's called the bone-in blade roast with root vegetables. And a lot of guys will look at this and think it's only good to be boned out and ground into burger. But I'm telling you, after a few hours in a slow cooker, you can pick this thing apart with your fingers. First thing you wanna do is take your whole venison shoulder and trim away any big pieces of fat or any blood clot. Now take a saw, you can use a sawzall or a hacksaw or a meat saw and cut it into pieces. I cut the shank off and save that for making asabuco and then depending on the size of the shoulder, cut it into two or three pieces. Rub a liberal amount of salt and pepper into the blade roast, making sure you're hitting all sides and then brown it in a combination of butter and vegetable oil. Once the roast is seared on all sides, pull it out of the pan and set it aside. In the same pan, begin sauteing your onion. Saute it until it starts to turn translucent, probably about six to eight minutes. Add your garlic. I like to use whole cloves, or if they're really big, half cloves and saute them for another two to three minutes. Sprinkle in your herbs. Lay the browned meat into a slow cooker. Put the onions and garlic on top, and then cover about three quarters of the way up with simmering stock. Add a few glugs of wine. Set the slow cooker to medium and let it go. It's gonna cook for several hours or more. The cook time on the blade rolls depends on the idiosyncrasies of whatever animal you're cooking. I'd be surprised if you got it done in less than three hours, and I'd be surprised if it took more than six. Once the blade roast is fork tender, you want to add in your carrots, potatoes, and celery. Then let the whole thing go another 45 minutes to an hour. It's ready when the potatoes are cooked.